Well guys and welcome back to the Minecraft Military Force and today I'm here with Martacha NL and he is the designer behind this which is the Boxer Armored Fighting Vehicle. This is specifically the Dutch version of it which is the Genie. So this vehicle is manufactured by Artec JMBH and it comes from Germany, the United Kingdom and the Netherlands. So there's like three countries cooperating to uh, make this but this specific version is the Boxer Genie which is an engineering and logistics support vehicle so I think it's just like this stuff in the back and uh, we have two versions right over here so one is with the hatch open up just in case you want to go inside and uh, you can transport troops while the other one is just closed and it also does have a remote control machine gun turret on the very top so you can control it from the inside you don't have to like mount it um but yeah hope you guys enjoy the video it's actually our first uh, dutch military built on this channel so thanks to mark tatcha for designing it and let's get started so first off let's grab some materials i'll take out another brick slab another brick wall spruce button trap door and fence gate and stairs as well as a green carpet um, dark oak fence gate dark oak trap door and yeah let's get started so first off let's make the wheel so that's going to be another brick block with another brick slab on top skip a block do the same thing then we'll add another brick walls behind both of them skip a block and we'll do the same thing over here in the back Next, we will add in spruce buttons to sides of all the wheels. Ideally, this would be green, but there's not really a good green button here, unless you're talking about warped, which Martacha doesn't really like because it's too blue. So next up, we'll add in dark oak fence gate over here. Open that up. And then a dark oak trap door and then two spruce trap doors. All right, then on this side, there's going to be a spruce fence gate. Open that up. And then we're going to make the wheels on this side. It's just pretty much the same thing that we did on the other side. Just build it again over here. I'm just putting our nether brick slabs first, then the walls. And then the spruce buttons to the sides of everything. Like that. And then we can also add in um, a wither skeleton skull on the back pair of wheels as well as the wheels here in the front, just the back part. Like that. And then next we'll add in a mossy cobblestone slab over here, a polished black stone brick slab on the other side, and the middle we'll add in a dark oak slab. Then we'll go in the back, we'll add in three blocks wide, mossy cobblestone slab, and we're gonna make this go all the way to the front, just three blocks wide. All right, next we'll add in uh, this green terracotta on the sides at the back. And then the front we're gonna add in three blocks wide and then we're gonna make a perimeter border with the green terracotta, leave the middle part alone. Like that. And then in the front here, you can add in uh, spruce stairs upside down with mossy cobblestone stairs on either side of it. And then polished blackstone brick slabs on the sides of that. And this side is going to be another polished blackstone brick slab. And then we will add in another one on top of here. And then we'll add in a mossy cobblestone slab. And then a dark oak block inside here. Dark oak slab, outer edge. Then we'll add in a brown terracotta here. Uh, dark oak slab up here and dark oak block right above it. A green terracotta after it. And then behind that will be these two black terracottas. Alright, and then the front of this is going to be, I don't know what block it is, it's green terracotta and then black terracotta in front of that. Green terracotta again. And then we'll add in that uh, polished blackstone brick stairs facing outwards. And then the front will add in a mossy cobblestone stairs facing the front. And the other side will add in mossy cobblestone stairs facing outwards. Polished blackstone brick stairs right in there. So it's cornered. 
And in the middle, you can add in um, polished black stone brick slab right here. All right, then we'll go to the front. We'll add in black carpet right over here. And then two on the right hand side. Brown carpet and then green carpet. On the row behind it, we'll add in a pair of spruce buttons spaced apart. Uh, and then a dark oak trap door on the left and the middle. Spruce trap door for uh, the right hand side. Over here, we'll add in a mossy cobstone wall, I mean slab, and then a stairs right behind it. And then next to that is going to be a polished black stone brick stairs and slab in the front of it. And then a dark oak slab. And then another brick slab or another brick block like that. And a black carpet on top. In front of this will be a polished black stone brick slab. And then for the back of this, we'll add in green terracotta. Just make a row across three like that. And then we'll add in a green carpet, a black carpet, and a spruce um, fence. I know Martacha is hiding in there. I can see there's something there. Um, anyways, next up, let's add in a black terracotta right over here behind that stairs, and then three green terracottas. And then a black terracotta underneath here in the middle of the wheels. And then we'll add in three black terracottas right on the back side. And to the side of this, we'll add in a spruce um, trap door. Open that up, spruce button after it. And then it's going to be a spruce fence gate. He finally got out. And then there will be two more. Actually, three more dark oak fence gates like that in the back. We'll add in Bruce fence gate. Open that up. All right. So as for this side, we'll add in a dark oak trap door over here. Close that up. Spruce trap door. Close that up. And then three spruce fence gates. And then a dark oak fence gate. In the back, we'll add in a spruce fence gate. Open that up. Then we'll add in a spruce trap door right above these two fence gates. So one. And two and then there's going to be a row cross of spruce fence gates so one two three top of that it's going to be a campfire and that's going to be flaming <laughs> we'll have to turn it off and on the other side he put a redstone repeater and uh, it's a little spaced apart all the way across i think to turn off the fire you just put water on it right and great, there's water there. So, uh, take a bucket out, take out the water. Then we have that campfire without it. The fire. So, I guess you just go. <laughs> what do you call a campfire without a fire? Um, anyways, next up, let's add in daylight detectors right in sides here. Then we'll add in um, another campfire next to both of these uh, daylight detectors. And again, we have to turn off the fire so put the water there take out the water like that and the middle will be uh, this dark prismarine slab all right then behind we'll make uh, a z shape a zigzag of mossy cobblestone slabs then we'll add in uh, these two dark oak slabs and then mossy cobblestone slabs, two in a diagonal like that. Polished blackstone brick slab over here. And then we'll add in a polished blackstone brick slab over here. Dark oak slab, definitely back. And let's add in some wither skull and skull. So there's going to be one over here. Uh, another one in this front nook. Other side, same thing. And over here we'll add in a zombie head. Both sides. And there's going to be a dark oak button right on top of that black terracotta. Then we'll add in a row of three mossy cobblestone slabs. And then mossy cobblestone slab, uh, one over here, a wither skeleton skull, and then a polished blackstone brick slab there. Uh, now there will be a spruce fence gate inside the middle, and then we're going to open that up towards the back 
let's add in a mossy cobblestone wall right behind it and a dark oak fence gate on top let's add in a chain in the front of it and the back of it is going to be a wither skull and skull and two sides of the fence gate will be zombie heads all right then we'll fill in these two blocks with mossy cobblestone slabs like that and the inside will be a spruce trap door i believe that's going to be right underneath these two blocks all right then the back here is going to be another daylight detector in the middle with mossy cobblestone stairs on either side of it and there will be a spruce sign in the back of that daylight detector I'm going to add some antennae, so that's going to be three blocks tall of iron bars right on top of each of these stairs. Like this. Very nice. Alright, so now in the back here it's going to be a mossy cobblestone wall on the left hand side and then a granite wall on the other side. And then I think this is the part where we kind of like change how we're going to make this. So I think we'll just make the closed version first. So that's going to be um, the polished blackstone brick wall here and then two mossy cobblestone walls like that. And then the row below it will be a green terracotta cross like that and then green uh, glass panes like that. And... Um, now we have to make these banners so there's actually two types of banners and they're going to be like the red and white stripes and we also want the license plate banner so to make that banner we're going to take some materials red banner green dye white dye yellow dye so first off let's make a red dye i mean red banner inside and a white dye and we want to actually make it go on a diagonal and then we want to make a second one so the diagonal goes the other direction because we need both directions. All right, then we'll add in green dye with it. And this is going to go across the top section of this as well as um, this. Oh, as well as the other side of this. So there's going to be one so it's corn like this. Just make it exactly how I'm making it. And I'm going to do it the same thing to the other side. Just the other direction. So we got the stripe nice. Alright, so once we have these two stripes, we're going to have to change um, this one here. So that it has that yellow license plate on the very top of it. So we should have these two banners. So we'll put the yellow on the left hand side and the regular one on the other side so it should be like this very nice and then we're also going to add in the side view mirrors in the front I should have done this before but we're going to add in another brick wall here on uh, sides like that chain block right after it and then a chain block to the side that stairs with a wither skeleton skull face um, inwards the other side we're gonna do the same exact thing and this one is actually missing a slab so I have to add in some more detail after this wither skull and skull on top and then I'm gonna add in that dark oak slab right underneath that nook and then there's gonna be that polished blackstone brick slab in this nook and then we're gonna add in an oak sign in the very front could put a license plate number right there. Now, um, Martacha really originally he built this with invisible item frames. So if you do want to actually make it like this, you gotta have invisible item frames right over here. Because if you put like regular item frames, it's gonna be too big like this. I don't know. Maybe you would prefer it like this if you do want to, or you can leave it without it. And in my personal opinion, I think it looks better without it because uh, the item frame just sticks out way too much in my opinion. But anyways, now to make it with the hatch opened up, uh, what we're going to do for that, we just delete this middle area, just row across so we can access the interior. 
And then we're going to add in this T-shape of mossy cobblestone slabs with spruce fence gates on the very sides of this. Open them up towards inside. And inside there's also going to be a spruce uh, fence, just every other block like this. Leave like that. And um, in the front area, yeah, he just filled that in with a green terracotta like that. Uh, but yeah, that should be uh, pretty much it on how to build the boxer armored fighting vehicle for the Dutch army in Minecraft. Thanks again to Martacha for the original design. And please give him credit if you are building this. Um, but anyways, if you guys do enjoy the video, hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you had already. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.